Thank you, Kenneth. Please take away the video screen now and bring out the hors d'oeuvres tray for the dogs. Rosie and Portia here must be absolutely famished. Then, kindly bring out the cheese and fruit plate for the rest of us. I'm rather famished myself. Where on earth have I seen that waiter before? You remember Kuba, big money out of Schenectady. He was one of the main sponsors at the gala last year. Kenneth was his friend. When Kuba died, the estate sent Kenneth packing back to the city with barely the shirt on his back. The poor thing needed work. So I gave the maid the day off and hired him. Well, if it's money he needs, I've got a few jobs that he can perform. Desmond, darling, you are incorrigible. <laughs> now, on to the agenda for this year's upcoming gala. We've lined up a hot new pet fashion designer to unveil an exciting and original line of doggy couture. We also have a number of very prestigious vendors who've applied to set up booths at the gala. The ladies from the Mayflower Descendants would like to offer DNA testing for anyone who wishes to have their pet's pedigree verified. The Give a Dog a Bone Canine Fertility Clinic wants to promote their special Viagra for dog breeders. <laughs> the Fire Island Pet Salon wants to do a raffle for an all-inclusive spa weekend. There are literally calls coming in every day. These spots are coveted. We have the luxury of being highly selective this year. We're only accepting the creme de la creme. Hello, Estella. Who let you in? Not your rude butler, that's for sure. But you really might want to lock your windows better. One never knows when prowlers might be afoot. You have one minute to explain what you're doing on my fire escape before I call the police. Don't be so hasty, Estella. We go too far back. I'm here to offer you an amazing opportunity. My son Lucius, who's been nothing but a disappointment to me since the day he was born, has got himself a goldfish rescue center. It's the first of its kind, it's new, it's exciting, and I'm giving you the chance to showcase it at your upcoming gala. Are you insane, Gabby? We have no place for something as ridiculous as a goldfish rescue center at this year's gala. Oh, but you do. <laughs> you know, I ran into your son Stanton Jr. the other day. He was with his lovely girlfriend at the Bloomies makeup counter. It dawned on me. He bears a striking resemblance to Ping Pong Petey down at the Diker Heights bowling alley. Young Stanton looks nothing at all like your husband, the big Wall Street tycoon. Not even the slightest resemblance. Gabby, darling, you and I do go back a long time, don't we? And after giving it a moment of thought, I find that I like your idea. Certainly goldfish are bright, colorful little creatures. They'd add a bit of much needed sparkle to our event. Please consider yourself and your dreadful son booked and confirmed. But Estella, you can't. She's not an animal rights person. He's nothing. Kenneth, he... we ladies are ready for lunch now. And can you please bring out some more Perrier jouets? I'm parched. I love your earrings, mister. 